The Eid is a time for fun and festivities, but this comes at a cost. It's a tradition to eat cow or sheep meat during the three days of Eid al-Adha. But beef is an expensive commodity in Egypt, and a raft of tough austerity measures that included cuts on subsidies and floating of the Egyptian pound have had its burden on most citizens. It's been evident with the low demand for livestock this year. As you can see, the demand is very low because prices have increased. I used to sell a kilo of meat for 52 or 53 pounds. I sell for 65 now or up to 75 pounds this year because the animal feed is imported and has cost more with the higher dollar value. The price of one sheep is about 100 to 160 dollars, which is the average salary of an employee per month. So many Egyptians have opted for a different approach. Because the sheep is too expensive, people began to contribute money to buy one cow or sheep. This means that we sell less than in previous years. An official study shows that the cost of the three days of Eid, including new clothes for the family of four, food and picnics, exceeds three months' salary for an average low-income earner. Most low-income earners can't afford to travel during the holidays. They prefer to spend Eid in the parks or home visits. The Eid this year is a one-week vacation, and those with the financial means have opted to travel outside the city. And with the extreme heat of August, they have targeted the beaches. Hotels are the highest financial winners. Currently, it's 100% occupancy in Alexandria and the North Coast and 95% in the Red Sea resort cities of Sharm el-Sheikh and Hurghada. Hotel rates have more than quadrupled this week. It's nearly fully booked, maybe overbooking in some places uh, due to the peaceful situation that Egypt are in now. Uh, most of the Egyptians now, they prefer to go to the north coast due to the weather situation. Uh, by nature, in, in summertime, Egyptians prefer to go to north coast Alexandria uh, since the weather is a little bit mild than, than Red Sea in comparison to the Red Sea. Days like these are a shine of bright light for the economy in the midst of an economic recession. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.